Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why men come on strong and then just fade away. Why does this happen so often? I know you're curious on the question. Really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. And actually, these are my weekend videos I shoot out on my balcony, similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. Check out the link in the description to join my group um, so you can have direct access to me on a regular basis this is where you can ask me questions and I'll shoot a video personalized just for you all right I think this topic is rather obvious why do men come on strong and then just fade away ladies I think it's highly important to recognize that the biological um, secretion of chemicals that's released when we connect with another human being can be ridiculously intoxicating. Why do we call it chemistry? Chemistry is from the root word chemical. So what happens is when we see someone we like, when we feel lust or limerence, lust or limerence, lust is sexual desire and limerence is infatuation, enthusiasm, infatuation. When we feel that, we men can come on really strong because that biological desire kind of takes over. So ladies, you know, this whole idea that men love the hunt and men love the chase, well, what is it that we're hunting and chasing? Do you actually believe we're hunting going, I want a relationship, I want a relationship. Is that what you think we're hunting? Of course we're hunting that physical connection with you and you know it and we know it. This is why relationships that take off like a rocket typically crash and burn the same as quickly as it took off because no roots or foundation was built in the relationship. And this is why I'm such a big proponent of, first off, vetting for emotional maturity, vetting for emotional maturity. This is really complex because the vast majority of the human population has weak emotional skills, weak emotional skills. And, and what I mean is weak skills in the area of romance. Coupled with that, most human beings really after the age 40, if they most likely if they're out in the dating realm, are divorced, the vast majority, and they don't know what a relationship looks like at this, you know, this, um, the next chapter in their lives. And so this is why I'm such a big proponent of reading the books that I recommend, reading the books like Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman, by reading the book Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller, and reading the book Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks and Helen Hunt. Not to mention my own book, Look, I didn't show you my book this time. <laughs> but uh, the links to the Jonathan Recommends books are there. It's because I'm here to say that this is really important stuff. Your, your emotional well-being is on the line when you put yourself out there. And it, by the way, did you know the number one emotional health issue facing almost everyone is I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, and I'm not likable? And dating triggers that like nobody's business because if we've had one experience after another experience after another experience, it can weigh on our emotional heart. Okay, so why is this so important to know? For certainly for those of you younger folks who have access to a lot of people, it can be very intoxicating to follow the bus of, of, of chemistry. And certainly for those in midlife as well is to recognize that the, the, the turtle is the slow and steady wins the, the race. And so here's the thing, ladies, you know this, and yet you get caught up in the chemistry just as much as we men do. And there's an old expression, men are the gas and women are the brakes. <laughs> men are the gas and women are the brakes. And so what I want to encourage everyone here is to recognize that if someone is coming on strong, it's very important that you set the pace and set healthy boundaries before you get attached to a person who may not be right for you. Is that sinking in, getting attached to a person that's not right for you? You don't want that because you want, to, you want, like I always say in my videos, a juicy, delicious relationship. So just remember that when a guy takes off like a rocket and you're joining him, be prepared because it could crash and burn just as equally as fast. And so learning how to pace yourself is something you must do because most men aren't really good at it. All right, I think you get the gist of where I was going with the, <laughs> uh, again, these are my weekend videos. Uh, it's 
my weekend videos are called Morning Cup of Jonathan. Today's cup is, says, I don't want to work anymore. I just want to be cherished and put up on a pedestal and taken care of. Who feels that way? Please let me know. Post a comment below. If this resonated with you, post a comment below. If you have something to add, post a comment below. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet or a teddy bear, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.